We're about to celebrate the symbolism of 9-11 with our brothers Tef Poe, their prayers, Ra Digger. We're here in Brooklyn. This is about to be a crazy show. You know what I mean? All the artists represent struggles from different communities. And we're here celebrating revolutionary culture, 9-11, Brooklyn, their prayers, Ra Digger, Rebel Diaz, Tef Poe. Let's go. It's important uh, that we do shows like this, especially on a day like this, is because uh, music helps uh, spread like this collective consciousness, this frequency, uh, you know, and I think that conscious hip hop does that better than anything on planet Earth. So we can use this as a moment to have a bit of political education and fun at the same time. And then I, I come from Ferguson. Um, uh, I represent just, just I, I think I'm like lifestyle conscious music. Uh, I just kind of like, put you on the vibe of what a person that has the things on my mind and you know I, I bring you into the world of a political artist so to speak so yeah. The aftermath of 9-11 is the real reason why I'm here. I mean, 9-11 was unfortunate, it happened, but then a lot came with 9-11. The version of 9-11 that exists in the media and most people that are commenting on your Facebook feed is really just the white supremacist version of 9-11 or a very narrow version of 9-11. We don't talk about everything that came after it or during it or the many 9-11s that happened before it. Kind of uh, uh, positive to think of change and uh, I know some of the dead, uh, dead press and rebel dias so they are thinking about transformative uh, transformation of the society so I'm kind of for that. People benefit off of people's ignorance, and I think it's important to support people that are speaking truth hey. to power. There are workers who were exploited from the tragedy of 9 11, you know, here in New York City. So I think it's really important that you guys are doing it today, and uh, especially because, I mean, this doesn't belong to the US. This date doesn't belong to New York City. I mean, I was here when the towers went down, but I don't see it like that. I, I see it as like, it, it, that was just a response to the the terrorism that the U.S. creates abroad, you know? When you have, you know, a historic time that we're living now with Ferguson and Baltimore, that all of those things are connected, you know what I'm saying? I think that our role as, as a cultural act, as part of the larger movement, uh, is what we're doing tonight, to come out here and, you know, represent political ideas through music, through culture, through art, through hip-hop. Um, and I think that that's, you know, that's really, what Brooklyn 9-11, the show tonight, is, is all about, and I think that's the energy you're going to see on stage. Word on the streets in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. We're talking to the people about the hashtag, I stand with Ahmed. Young man, Muslim, goes to school with a homemade clock and leaves in handcuffs. Why? How do the people feel about it? Let's talk to them and find out. Uh, I think it was ignorant. Um, yeah, and it kind of discriminates a lot of Muslims nowadays about it? Uh, I really feel that's uh, discrimination. It's kind of crazy uh, living in a state or you know country where you think that stuff is like fading away, but it's just like getting worse and worse and worse. So um, yeah, that's just crazy hearing something like that happen. It's a sad story, but in the same token, it's just like, why is it still going on? And it's kind of like a don't put yourself in a predicament to get discriminated against, even though it may not be your fault, but in the same token, it's what's real, it's what's going on. It's like extreme, I mean, what, even, what grade was he in? Uh, they, they tell me he's a freshman, 14 years old. 14 years old, and left with handcuffs, you know, because he made a clock, I mean, if he was any other race, he probably, any other race, he probably would have an award for that, to make that from scratch at like 14 years old. I mean, that's pretty, I mean, pretty genius right there. Completely out of line, I think, for the school to lock him up like that. Honestly, don't know a ton of details beyond what you just described, but um, it feels it feels wrong. That's crazy, man. It's ridiculous. That's profiling, too, though, right? You know, what's this world coming to? Uh, it's classic American. How you feel about it being a classic American moment? Silly people in the South. 
I thought it was pretty hilarious. Just the total misunderstanding those guys had, just the uh, pre sort of judgments and misconceptions. No offense, it sums a bit of sort of America up a little bit right here, so that does. They said that they arrested him after they figured out it wasn't a plot, or after they found it wasn't a bomb. And they still arrested him? They still arrested him. Because they thought like it was like to scare people. You know, when I woke up this morning, uh, it occurred to me that it was uh, September 11th. And, you know, I knew that we, we had scheduled this particular event, and I knew what it meant because of the significance of the artist on the bill. Because every time we get together, it's, it's, it's that energy, right? But what happened so many years ago has faded in memory, right, about not so much about the tragedy and the horror of the lives that were lost on this day, but like the insidious underplay that went down, the mind fuckery that sent us in up until this minute really not being able to recover the ideas about what happened, I mean, it's a, at this point, to some people, it's a complete conspiracy. I smelt the smoke. I was in the ashes. I was, we were making an album right when that, when that happened, you know. I got off in Brooklyn and seen it happen. So that's what this means on this day. So it, 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 it's, uh, there's a lot to go through. Yeah. I want y'all to raise this vibration by making all the noise you can on three. One, two, three! <laughs> Say it, 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 say it,